Welcome back to another Kymark Limo Software tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to use the zone editor and zone pricing features. To get to this page, you'll go ahead and click on configuration and then zone editor. Once on the zone editor page, which is this page, you're going to start off by creating a polygon, which is a zone. You're drawing it on Google Maps here. Let's call this zone one. And we are going to make this a red zone. I like that color. And then let's go ahead and create another zone. We're going to call this zone, zone two. And we will make that a blue zone. You'll notice here that zone two is overlapping zone one. So we have two options here. We can either grow it or shrink it. There is an explanation just below the map, but I'll explain it. Growing will make, clicking grow will make zone two chew up a portion of zone one or any other zones that are uh, under this zone two. So let's go ahead and do that. Grow, see how it grew into the existing zone that's there. Let's go ahead and create another zone and we are going to use the shrink feature. For this zone, let's make it green. Let's call it zone three. You'll notice here that zone three has two zones just under it. Oh, I see here I can make this a little bit bigger as there's a little bit of a gap there. Uh, so you can go ahead and adjust these accordingly if you make a mistake. And I, you can always go back at a later date and adjust them as well. Uh, this time we are going to use the shrink feature. Now what's going to happen is the shrink feature will make zone one and zone two that we've previously created. They are going to chew up a portion of zone three and there will be no gaps or spaces or addresses or anything like that uh, that would get missed as it's going to make uh, a seamless um, a, a seamless sort of snapping of the two zones together or three zones together. So take a look at this shrink. So you can see here, it's gone ahead and chewed up a portion. Now I've set up my three zones. I have zone one, zone two, and zone three. Let's go ahead and set the prices. So I'm going to click save and set prices. I'm going to select the vehicle. I'm going to start off with zone one to zone one in this particular vehicle is going to be $50. Zone two to zone one is going to be $65. Now you'll notice here that zone two to zone one also entered $65 automatically. That's just uh, to expedite the data entry, but you can always alter that price if it's not going to be the same in the reverse order. Now, for now, I'm totally content with just setting those prices, but I could go ahead and set the rest of them. After that, just click on save. So you've now gone ahead and created zones and uh, set pricing for the zones for that vehicle. Typically on some other limo softwares, uh, you'll notice that you'll need to enter zip codes, postal codes, and a lot of these. Uh, it takes uh, quite a bit of work to figure out what the, zone, what the zip codes and postal codes are. With our system, it's very intuitive and innovative in the fact that you're just drawing polygons on Google Maps and it automatically identifies the postal codes or zip codes. So very, very easy to use and uh, we hope that you enjoy it. Um, you should be able to set up your zones within maybe less than 30 minutes to have everything set up prices for a fleet size of 10 or less vehicles. So very, very easy. If you have any questions, reach out.